Hey guys, it's Redzy Gaming 68 here, and I'm here to explain Copa, or at least why I personally am not afraid of Copa. Well, as you know, YouTube has probably sent you an email about how Copa has has basically changed YouTube's rules and how they're going to start being more strict on family-friendly content. Well, I'm not really scared about Copa, even though it'll probably get most of my YouTube, even though it'll probably, let me think for a minute, even though it'll probably make it to where it gets rid of all my gaming videos. Well, first off, let's go into the history of Copa. Basically, Copa started as this online thing that this online thing that makes it to where companies can't spy on kids. That's kind of the gist of it, and kind of oversimplifying it. But, yeah. YouTube has been ignoring these rules for years. It wasn't until a class action lawsuit was threatened that YouTube, being the greedy sons of bitches they are, decided to finally start following the rules. Anyways. Basically, this makes it to where you can upload content for kids on YouTube. Well, at least targeted for kids. This is actually an anti-ElsaGate mechanism. If you don't know what ElsaGate is, there's basically this group of people who go around spreading content that has, like, Spider-Man, Elsa, and the Hulk in it. And on the surface, it seems cutesy and whatnot, but whenever you actually start watching the videos, <laughs> they're disturbing as hell. Anyways, <clears throat> I think that these new Copa laws are actually pretty good in of, in, in of themselves. But the thing is, is that I really don't think that these YouTube bots that go around flagging videos are going to be very smart. They're going to, you know, here's an example. Here's an example of something that actually happened in the past, something that would be kind of similar to what would happen. So, LGBT YouTubers upload videos, right? I know I said some homophobic things in the past, but it kind of changed my views on that kind of stuff, to be honest. Um, they upload videos to YouTube, and... And because they upload videos to YouTube, right? Well, the bots have been taking down homophobic videos that have that have these words like gay and homosexual in them. Well, the YouTube bots see these videos with the words gay and homosexual in this in the title, and the YouTube bots, thinking that they are the homophobes, take those videos down and they go to some third world country that's run by the Taliban which hates which hates which hates which hates gay people damn i can't talk today and they're and they're just like and and the Taliban who's looking at the videos in this third world country is just like this video is evil get it off the site and then you know it's banned it's banned from YouTube, which is why the LGBT community is suing YouTube, and I think that YouTube deserves to be sued. And they're probably going to be sued in the future. Anyways, I will always be making content, don't worry my fans. I will not only be uploading content to YouTube, but I will also be uploading content to a site called BitChute, which is basically just an alternative version of YouTube. 
Yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of BitChute because it has some weirdos on there, but it's better than getting censored by YouTube all because all because their bots don't know the difference between pedophilia and a guy playing an E-rated game of cartoonish graphics. I wish this video... I wish this video would have been a funny one. A, the one that would make you laugh. Maybe even satire on my freaking feminism video I made years back. And everyone laughs at because that video made me come off as some sort of retarded idiot. And I'm really not. Anyways. Oh man, my nose is fucking itchy. Anyways, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.